Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com and the topic for this video is uh, sexual fitness. We are talking about vital sex and tantric sex and uh, what I want to bring now into the picture is the idea that if you are in good shape, sex is going to be better. You are going to have way more fun if uh, basically you have a healthy lifestyle. Healthy lifestyle means that you train your body, you activate your body. This is a little bit of a taboo because there is lots of denial around that, but you know, believe me or try it, if you're in good shape, sex is going to be better. Um, that means eating healthy and it means training your body. Sex is not a sport, okay? That's not what I'm saying, but it does involve your physical body. If you're flexible, if you can stretch, if you have, you know, muscles train in the right place, you can definitely go and engage into sexual practices that are going to be juicier, more expansive, more fun. Uh, if you're sitting with a partner in Yabium, you know, cross legs, one in front of, of the other, and you have the possibility to, to move your bodies in synchronistic ways, and there is a high degree of flexibility there, and you are a trained yogi or yogini, of course it's going to be more fun. So if you are in the process of, you know, denying that, just check in, you know. It doesn't mean that sex is going to be bad if you are in, in, out of shape. But, you know, the level of pleasure is going to be, to be way higher if you are radiating energy and health. Of course, it's going to impact. So, um, I want to, you know, send you a signal there. And uh, if you feel that, uh, that sex is not pleasurable enough for you, that you feel like you are missing on something, some form of sensuality there, look at how you feel in your body. And... Um, you can also check internally what is your your level of sexual fitness you give yourself a mark zero to hundred percent how sexually fit are you so your mind goes oh well, what does it mean no you know you know exactly what that means you know how high you score when it comes to checking in how sexually fit you are and fitness is not just the physical body okay it means how much emotional openness you have how much fluidity you have there how much how is it, is it for you to get turned on, excited, or, uh, you know, slow down? How easy is it for you to start breathing in synchronistic way with your partner without running out of breath or running out of energy? So all that is sexual fitness. The more space you create on, in your energy body around the sexual practices, the more fun it's going to be. It's really, really that simple. It's like playing a musical instrument. If you practice every now and then, but then forget about it like for the next year, of course the, 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 the pleasure is not going to be that high when you go back. It's going to, you are going to feel a bit rusty and you have to start practicing the chords again. So it's the same with sex. You can really approach sex as a, as a, as a, you know, as a training, as something that you do on a regular basis and eventually you become better at it. So if you want to train your uh, sex skills, go back and check my videos, go back to my website. There is a tantric sex book there. There is lots of, lots of hints, lots of tips, lots of articles on this topic. So start practicing those techniques on a regular base. Regular base means that you can have a couple of sessions a week or more regularly every day. If you have the space to do that every day with your partner, I can guarantee you that within a couple of weeks of practice, you will be blown away. You enter into states of bliss, of magnificent uh, harmony with your partner, and it's like it's massively expansive. So uh, this is the idea of sexual fitness. It's the idea that if you are sexually fit, your sex life will be uh, really enhanced. So when it comes to uh, sexual activations, things that you can practice by yourself that have a certain dimension of uh, eroticism in them, uh, you can practice movements that are going to 
call inside of you erotic energy. And by practicing this by yourself, very often you will feel like there is already an erotic flow that is being activated. It's very nice, for instance, if you have been in a relationship for a long time, you have been married for 20 years, and you feel that your sex life is not necessarily flowing the way you want, and starting to activate uh, your sexual energy with these individual sexual practices is going to give you a, a good boost. I'm going to just show you a couple of examples so that you understand what this is about. For instance, um, you, uh, you can do hip, hip movements, right? If, for instance, if I'm, I'm here and I'm just doing that, there is no sexual content in it. But if I start moving my hips in a way that becomes extremely sensual and extremely you know, suddenly we enter into the erotic zone, right? It's a, it's a very simple movement where you activate the hips, but this is a mimetic movement, of course, what happens when you are having intercourse and you are, you know, uh, penetrating or being penetrated by your, your lover, then you're already activating your erotic energy or erotic fire. So I'm just giving you an example here. We are going to dive into this uh, vital sex practices and uh, and ideas in another in another video but for now so that you understand what I mean by sexual uh, activation you can yeah there is much more to say about it and many more practices that we can engage into another way to activate your sexual fire is to use uh, breath breathing orgasmic breathing so again if you simply breathe like ah, you can add a little bit of sound ah, 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 and you can expand with this idea you see that it can become much more orgasmic even if you are not touching yourself even if nobody is activating you sexually you can start diving into this orgasmic breath practice and the moment you do that what you are doing is like you are calling the sexual energy internally and programming yourself to have a great sex life basically this is what what you are what you are doing because you are reprogramming your neural pathways to actually be geared towards generating pleasure the the expression the sound expression of pleasure is a very powerful force that calls on the specific energies that you are trying to generate and create so back to uh you know to the idea of sexual fitness i hope you get the message uh it's like your sex life will be much more interesting if you have a healthy uh lifestyle eating well uh practicing some sexual activation techniques and being really comfortable with that without being ashamed or feeling guilty you know getting rid of all those energetic blocks in your system that are mental or emotional frames that are stopping you from having pleasure and enjoying it okay i'll be back soon bye bye